take a bow, son. I mean that. Take a bow. Huge game for England tomorrow against Colombia. It's the first of the knockout stages for us. I'm really starting to think we have a chance here in this tournament. The way the likes of Germany and Spain have gone out, it's just... It reminds me of the season where Leicester won the Premier League and everything's just fallen into place. If we beat Colombia, then I think it's Sweden or Switzerland we have to play in the quarters you'd expect us to beat, which gets us to the semis. And I believe that's going to be probably Russia, if not, I think maybe Croatia. I'm not too sure on that. But just, say, just saying those names of those teams, it gives us a, such a massive chance of, of actually going somewhere in the, in the World Cup and say it quietly, but maybe even win it, you know. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's a huge game tomorrow. It'll be a real test for us, the first test of the tournament, in my opinion. Tunisia, I mean, you'd expect us to beat, it, beat them, and we should have battered them in the first half, ended up scoring a last-minute goal from Kane. Panama is Panama. I mean, you'd expect us to win. Admittedly, we did it in such a style which is still impressive. But you'd still expect us to, to bag a few goals against them. And then obviously against Belgium, we rested players somewhat controversially. It's, it's been quite mixed in regards to the reaction. I think it was the right choice. I think it was the smart choice. I can understand why you'd want to keep momentum, and I do completely get that. For me, it was a win-win situation. You either play our strongest team and you win and then we have this momentum and we have this winning mentality. We well, rest the team like we did, we lost, and we're actually in a better position now because of it. So it's, it's a double-sided coin. At the end of the day, if you want to win the World Cup, you need to beat the best teams anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. But we're in a great position. We should beat Colombia, in my opinion. They've got some great players like Falcao, um, Rodriguez, who's uh, actually not looking like he's going to make the game. Or if he does, he won't be fully fit, which is great news for us. Um, some really rapid players as well, like Quadrado. So they are dangerous moving forward. But looking at the expected lineup, you would expect us to win. I would, I would imagine it's going to be something like. 2-0 or 3-1. Uh, Harry Kane's the top goal scorer in the tournament so far, so he's looking very dangerous. So, yeah, I mean, obviously we're fully fit as well. Um, I mean, the likes of Falcao, I think he scored 24 goals in 36 games in all competitions last season. He's very much back to top form, what he used to be. Uh, obviously, he had those funny periods at Manchester United and Chelsea. I did watch him at Chelsea. I thought he looked quite sharp. I didn't really think he was given a chance, but he still only scored, I think, one goal and ten appearances. But, yeah, really really looking forward to it. Um, I think with a fully fit side, we should beat Colombia, should progress. Uh, and then, obviously, we've then got uh, Sweden or Switzerland. So it's looking very promising for England, but we'll know a lot more about the English team, the mentality and the actual talent in the team after tomorrow's game and obviously how Southgate sort of sets us up as well. Supposedly Ashley Young is playing, uh, Harry Kane, Raheem Sterling as well, um, all, the, all the big players, Daddy Ali, etc. So you're looking at that team, you're looking at Columbia's expected lineup, and you really would expect us to to win that game. So really looking forward to it, but I really do think it's, it's going to be a comfortable win for us.